The song Bad Damwa means as long as I remain dry, I don't care if my husband rejects me, I don't mind. Even if my mother rejects me, I don't care as long as I remain dry. Even if my father rejects me, I don't care as long as I'm dry. Even if the whole world rejects me, as long as I'm dry, I don't care. It's only being dry that is the most important thing to me because it's the one that made me an outcast before. So as long as I'm dry, I don't care. I got married when I was 13 years. I became pregnant after a year. I went into labor for one week and it's like I was unable to give birth myself. And my husband decided to take me to the hospital. And reaching the hospital, I was operated on and they remove a dead baby. After the operation, it's like the wounds from the surgery was not healing on time. And my husband became fed up and told me that he is going back home to farm and look for money to enable him get married to another woman because so he, he can see that I can't give birth to children any longer. He asked me if I knew the road to our house which I told him no. He went out, looked for a motorcyclist, and, and I was um, on the bike and tied with a rope around the cyclist, both hands and legs, and tied to the bike carrier like an animal. And the motorcyclist took me down to my parents' house, dropped me on the ground, and ran away. What made me weep is because the way I was tied to the bike like an animal, it gave me pain and it was, very, it was really a difficult moment. At Evangel Hospital, it was quite different. I'm so thankful to God because I was healed completely and I don't know how to, to thank God enough. Vivia means vesicovaginal fistula. It means uh, a situation whereby a woman continuously lick urine for 24 hours in a day. Uh, normally, labor is supposed to last for less than a day. But when it stays for up to a day and days, and in Nigeria we've had women who labor for about one week, uh, it leads to the destruction of these two bags and links them to the vagina and causes them to continue to leak either urine or feces or both. The first day we arrived, we had this huge clinic where we screened oh, 50 or 60 patients for surgery. Good morning. How are you? I was asking them about their original injury, and over and over and over you hear the same story, that they labored for days and their baby died. Is, is, the, ba is the baby alive? Baby, not alive. Sorry. Some of our patients are just teenagers, that they've gone through so much at such a young age. It's just really disturbing. They just seem like kids themselves. Do you know how long you've been leaking? And did your leaking start after you had a baby? That story is classic. That they they all seem to have lost their baby and then this nightmare starts. So in a way I, I think that the VVF is even worse than leprosy. The people that have it will rather want to stay within themselves. They wouldn't like to mix up with the general population. 
and nobody would like to come close to them because it is offensive. Uh, by the time you come close to a patient that has a, that, that kind of a problem, you, you just know. Lepers might not necessarily smell, but VVA patients are, are quite offensive. And it is a selective problem in that it affects only women and not just any kind of a woman, a woman that is in her childbearing age, a woman that is supposed to be enjoying the best of her life. IVU has a lot of support to the VVF women and to the caregivers of VVF in Evangel Hospital. Uh, when I started the project, I was alone because nobody was willing to work on the VVF project. I, I found company, I found friendship, I found people that I can share my frustration with. I have found people that are willing to help. I found people that are willing to try to get answers for me beyond what I know not only here when they visit, but even while they are back home.